We are staying in the Everglades inside of this survival hut for 50 hours. While we're here, we're gonna be exploring the swamp. We're gonna be hunting gators. And we're gonna be defending our camp from panthers. You ready for this? I'm ready, Andrew. We just got here, so this is our first time actually going in and checking out the hut. <laughs> it's a snake! Oh! This is definitely a snake's paradise in here. Shut the door so the bug nights don't get in here. The bed setup in the loft here is way worse than down there. Yeah, the beds themselves, but I kind of like being up here safe. The only thing protecting you from the outdoors is this like thin mesh. Yeah, but I thought you said the snakes like to cl crawl on the roof and they come through here and go. <laughs> <laughs> We've already found our first encounter. See that giant spider? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Go. This thing is filled with bugs. We've only been here nine seconds and we've already found bugs. <laughs> Isaac, it fell on you. <laughs> this is not going to be a fun trip if you keep doing that. <laughs> Come on the back patio, look at the Everglades. you got to admit, this is pretty sick. This is really cool. This must go on for long miles. Yes, long miles that way. <laughs> yes. Here's a quick overview of our gear for the 50 hours. And here we have our nice snack station. Here we got our cooler with some more stuff that we wanted to keep cold. We got all of the essentials that are vital for safety. Other than that, we're pretty much surviving with just ourselves. That was cringe, cut that out. Over here we got some basic survival essentials. Got a first aid kit, some sanitizing wipes, flashlight, lighter, more food, plenty of water, a little light, some walkie talkies for communication. We do try and fish in most episodes, but instead of bringing a fishing pole this time, all we got was some fishing line and some hooks and then some shrimp bait. And so we're gonna try and fashion a homemade fishing rod. Since we can't ever catch a fish with a normal fishing rod, we just figured not bring it. We both got one of these bad boys. We can whack away uh, sticks and bushes, but it also could come in handy as a self-defense weapon. Andrew, tell them about all the stuff out here. All right, let me tell you, starting with the basics, we got the alligators, the crocodiles, the panthers, and we just found out this place has bears. And not to mention the small things that we have to really keep an eye out for. We got four extremely deadly venomous snakes out here. There's like five or six species of frogs that can kill you. Snapping turtles take your toes out. And there's a skunk ape walking around. Pretty much everything can kill you out here. So we definitely needed some defense. As you can see, we got a pretty good spread of snacks and a few meals. But our goal for night two is to be able to catch and then cook and eat whatever we get. And we're not talking fish. We're talking something much bigger. Obviously the hut is really cool, but we're gonna spend a lot of time at night in it. I think the first thing we gotta do is explore our surroundings in the swamp. And so we're gonna get some kayaks so we can actually get out on the water in amidst all of the deadly things. Guys, oh, we're in the Everglades. Whoa. Whoa. I might knock you over. I'll just try to go to the side. We're making our way down the river in the Everglades. It's pretty crazy how clear the water is. You can see all the way to the bottom and at any point, an alligator could jump up and snatch your kayak. You also have to look above because there's snakes up in the trees. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. We actually found a gator. Holy heck, dude, he just swim away. Where'd he go? Dude, dude where is he? Oh gosh, dude, my heart rate is like a thousand. We found him the gator. I don't like it when they jump in the water and you don't know where they went. I can't tell how big he is. I can tell he's bigger than I'd want to fight with. Oh, he's moving. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. There he goes, swimming Ooh. away. Look at that. That's so scary. That's so sick, though. Oh, he's turning back towards you. He likes the sound of you. <laughs> oh, he went underwater. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew. Oh, he's still there. I see him, I think. Oh, no, 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 I don't know. I'm getting out of here. You'll see him coming through the water. It's clear enough. They sure was crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah, we literally just saw a either a vulture or an eagle flying past, and it had a snake like dangling from its mouth. I almost feel like I'm in a uh, like another country. Like I know I know it's like it's still America, but it's so different than where we live. And it kind of reminds me of when I went to Uganda when I was younger. It reminds me of Africa a lot. Yeah. Like this hut and everything. Yeah, the hut, and then like I don't know, just like the prairie land, I guess, swamp land, but it's really beautiful. The sun is about to set, and so we need to probably start making a fire before it goes fully down. What do you say? Yeah, we've, we got some stuff for dinner. We should probably start cooking that. I am, a, like, I'm a little nervous, but after today, I'm feeling more confident, and so once it gets dark, do a little exploring around our little area and see if we can find any bears. You're not nervous? You wanna find a bear? Come all the way to Florida from Colorado to see a bear, that'd be fun. What do you think is in here? Bugs? Our house? <laughs> yeah, but you think there's any creatures? Ah! Ah! <laughs> what? What are you doing in here? What do you mean, what am I doing in here? I'm supposed to get the fire started. I was cleaning my hands. To make a fire? 
Well, I wanted a snack first. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted one of these Rice Krispie treats. They tied me over until dinner. <laughs> well, it's gone. Huh? We just bought those. You gotta get a fire going stat. Drew is getting some drone shots. Leave a like for Drew and the drone shots. I'm guessing they're gonna be beautiful. Like me. Wait, we gotta pick out what's for dinner. Got some pulled pork, boys. It's kind of nervous being right by the water. I don't know. After being on the water and seeing everything up close and being in the most dangerous position possible, I'm a lot less scared yeah, now. But it's almost nighttime. What does that mean? Don't they hunt at night? Hunt? Yeah. Alligators? Yeah. Not not people. But they don't know what that he's hungry enough. He may just want something. You guys know that I'm not really a survivor. Of this. Whoa, what's wrong with the bottom of the leaves here? Spider webs? Looks crazy. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying, you guys know that I'm not really a survivalist, but I'm trying to work on my skills a little bit. And so I saw this tree over here, and I thought that this stuff would make pretty good kindling for our fire. So I'm in charge of making that today since I have literally never had success with a fire on the channel. Am I trying to time to redeem myself? Thanks, Andrew. What did I do? Let me try and build the fire. Oh, you're welcome. Oh! Oh wait, you almost stabbed me! Sorry. Dude, there's a lizard! <laughs> Dude, I knew something was gonna be in there! Brand new survivalist is trying to get kindling. He's got the knife. A little lizard comes out of the thing and he goes, Whoa! Dude, like, Whoa! Dude, I thought it was like a big like a big spider or something. I wish I just grabbed it. One of my goals is to yoink as many creatures as I can within reason. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna so. sit over here. <laughs> Ouch. I just sprayed my ankle. What? You're wearing hiking boots. <laughs> he sprayed his ankle, falls in the water, and gets attacked by a crocodile. I was like, when you're. It's like a jump scare. Yeah, it was like a jump scare. I was not expecting something to crawl literally out from there. I don't know, I'm feeling really adventurous. I really want to go bushwhacking out there into the swamp. It sounds so dumb. Like, what? What would I find? It just sounds so like exciting. Here is the trail cam we got. We're debating on where to put it. There's a couple of ideas. Do we want to put it near the hut? Or do we want to put it kind of near the water here and see if we can catch an alligator coming up and eating some of our dinner? Oh yeah. There we go. It's catching. There we go. It's catching, baby. This will be my first successful fire. Okay, I will say I am having a little bit of a tough time keeping it lit. The tinder is really good for getting it started but it's just not catching the big logs. And so I got one of these pieces off of the palm tree, cutting them into little sticks that you can use. And these will burn a little longer than the kindling and hopefully long enough to catch the big logs. Sometimes surviving is just experimenting with certain, with, other, with new methods. <laughs> with a little bit of Drew's help, my trusty little boy scout, we got this thing starting to light. So hopefully it continues to spread, but it's actually caught the little stick on fire rather than just the, t the tinsel. The tinsel? The, <laughs> from the Christmas tree? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I gotta say, the whole swamp like sounds so much more alive at night. Things are jumping around in the water more. The trees are rustling. Things are just waking up and starting to move around more. You like that spot? For what? What is that? That's the trail cam. Oh, you're trying to see something come out of the water. Yeah. Isaac just caught a little tiny gecko. What? Dude, where'd you catch him? <laughs> you come over here. His mouth's open. He looks like he's mad. But you should see if it hurts when he bites. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> he's so small. Oh, oh. <laughs> where did you go, little guy? <laughs> he keeps jumping. That is so cool. You just don't really see stuff like this in Colorado. Yeah. We have geckos in Colorado? Yeah. Oh. I've never seen one. You don't, they're not just like all around my house. Out here, they're everywhere. Like literally everywhere I look, there's some creator. Creator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that sunset now. Holy smew. Oh, <laughs> freaking, you're gonna kill yourself. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm literally doused in bug spray and they're continuing to harvest my organs. All right, since I'm the camp chef, which was decided by Andrew, since I have the most culinary school experience, we're having pre-cooked pulled pork. Unfortunately, we are gonna lose most of the sauce. Aww. But that's just... How it goes, oh gosh. We're definitely attracting some gators. <laughs> oh no. That looks like gator gator mush. This is ridiculous. This is what survival's all about, buddy. Why'd you buy the messiest possible meat? <laughs> we don't even know. Like, it sounded so good. We could have got like strips of steak or something. <laughs> some chicken. Barbecue pulled pork. You want sloppy joes out in the woods? <laughs> oh, it's on fire. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks so weird. <laughs> Dude, the gators are coming tonight for sure. Dude, you're gonna, no way. You're gonna burn it all instantly. You have to cook it, not burn it. It's already cooked. You just have to heat it up. You're not gonna heat it, you're just gonna fry it. If you it. hold it too high, it'll, be, it'll get really smoky. You're burning it, it's on fire. What? No, it's sizzling, it's, it's getting roasty. We have plates. 
No. Oh, are you, do we have forks? No, you just scoop it onto the bread. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is so dumb. You hear that voice? This is really dumb. This is the dumbest way we could have cooked it. <laughs> As a chef, I wish I'd had a say in how we cooked and what we cooked. The well, chef disappeared and was looking for hats. The chef was looking for shorts. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> oh, my knee! Dude, your head almost went in the fire. I think it's done. <laughs> Ow! Ow! It's hot! It's hot! Stood around the wilderness doesn't mean we can't still be sanitary. <laughs> A new t shirt. <laughs> Someone make that t shirt, please. I'd love if you were wearing that in a survival <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you can make that to a cool design and DM it to me. I got you. There's definitely a bear coming tonight, for sure. <laughs> this whole table is covered in barbecue sauce and meat guts. Okay, first test. Could be worse. I keep hearing stuff in the lake behind us. <laughs> it's so scary because you can't see. Like basically past the campfire, anything can be sneaking up at any second. Yeah, you know, like look in this direction. You literally can't see out into the wilderness. This is it. Don't get scared now. This is it. Don't get scared now. It's nighttime in the jungle hut. I found some uh, sugar-free Nutella. Since the animals are active at night, so are we. Off into the night woods we go. Why? Because the fans demand it. <laughs> oh, you guys are rascals. <laughs> I already know you want to see me get scared. <laughs> yes, I do. Well, not you, the fans. Now that I know you also want that, I don't want to really go anywhere with you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, get in there. No, I'm not going anywhere. Now, we have done a lot of research on our way here, so we do know what the four super venomous snakes look like. Obviously, no, we know what alligators look like and uh, bears. So we are going to be very careful because you don't really want to be walking around on this. Oh gosh, what the heck? Sounds like a... Holy... That was a pretty good whack. Don't worry, we're not going very deep in there because that would not be really wise. I really do want to see something cool though. I heard some toads over here. Toads? Toads. What kind of to oh, toads. <laughs> what? Toads are actually... Uh, some of them are super venomous out here. I'm really just hoping to find... See something kind of crazy, whatever that means. Whether that's a bear eating a gator, a gator eating a bear, Burmese python that's like got his whole body wrapped around a panther and like it. What the? I don't know if you're gonna see that. Something like that. Those are examples. I have a weird condition where <laughs> diabetes. The, I have diabetes where the thought of something is really scary to me. So like the thought of coming out here and I really was scared to. But then when I'm actually out in the thing, it I it's not scary to me anymore. That doesn't make. So now that I'm out here, I'm not scared. I mean, I haven't seen anything scary yet, so that would probably scare me. But <laughs> we reached out to a couple YouTubers that explore the Everglades like every night, it seems like. It'd be so fun to go on like an adventure with one of them who know what they're doing. I think it's more scary that we're here and we've never been here before. Like if this is our backyard, you'd be like, oh yeah, go that way. Yeah. <clears throat> or like you just know where you do and don't find certain creatures. Cause right, right now I'm right. thinking cotton mouth is about to pop out of anywhere. It's crazy. You literally have to look up, left, down, right, every direction. Cause there could be something ready to jump in the ground, drop on your head, bite you from the water. <laughs> jump in the ground. <laughs> jump <from> the ground. <laughs> look at this part of the lake. This is definitely where gators would come. Isaac, <laughs> what the heck? You're just gonna give him some camouflage? Maybe he'll think something's over here. That's <laughs> because something is over here. You. <laughs> Gators work off of echolocation. <laughs> no, they don't. Vibrations, yeah. Echo vibrations. Dude. Oh, Isaac, what are you doing? <laughs> Isaac. What are you doing? Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, you just made him come closer. Oh, sheesh, that scared me. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of quick, actually. They're kind of fast. Did he eat a little fish? All right, Isaac, has your chance to grab his tail. <laughs> no, no, no. He, he heard that. He's coming back. Dude, that's so crazy. This is the most interesting thing we've seen all night. Oh, well, yeah, that's what we're here for, the gators. <laughs> we are heading back to camp now. I am determined to wrestle a gator in this video. I'm sure I'll have another chance in the morning. At least we know that there is a gator in this lake, and he's a perfect size to grab. I gotta say, I, I haven't seen any bugs in here yet, which has been encouraging. Only that spider that was outside the net. So from what I can tell, it's doing its job. Honestly, I'm gonna have to just close my eyes and not look at the ceiling, because if I do, I'm gonna like start freaking out. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll take the big bet. No, I already got my phone over there. That's not how this works. Yeah, it is. We always play rock, paper, scissors. 
<laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, you got so swamp? sick in the last like 15 minutes. The swamp has got swamp thing. fever. <laughs> yeah, swamp. it's yellow fever. Ooh, what? Oh, nothing. Just a little crumb. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, you didn't win, huh? Guys, we we're about to go to bed. It's under, it's under there, it's under here. I grabbed a towel. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a jumping one. Oh, go get it. It's under. What are you doing? Dude, it's there. <laughs> oh. Guys, I was, I literally about to do my water bottle shower, and I picked up one of the towels, and he just jumped out of it. <laughs> no way, really? Yeah, he was. That's where he came from. <laughs> <in the> towel. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. I actually was born in Florida. I grew up catching lizards and I haven't done it since I was a kid. It feels really cool. Let it bite you, see what happens. Hey, that's what I tried to do and he didn't, nothing happened. Oh, he will. Oh, you just, just put him on Andrew's bed. No, <laughs> I see. What? <laughs> no, I won't do it. Stop. Oh, no. I didn't mean to let him go. I didn't mean to let him go. I didn't mean to let him go. I didn't mean to let go. I'm sorry. Stop it. <laughs> You don't like them? You're scared no, of them? I don't like that. <laughs> Not in my bed. <laughs> How's there anybody likes that in their bed? I didn't know oh, that. Oh, look, sorry. now he's mad. Look at him. He kind of smells. <laughs> he smell. All right, buddy. Whoa, what the? Oh, God, that scared me, dude. <laughs> the wind was blowing. Well, there's a whole family of them in the towels. Like dusty spider webs. Spider. Yeah, if there's that many spider webs in here, there's got to be some spiders. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't like it, dude. I can't. I can do the gators and stuff. I just can't do the bugs. You better not drop it on. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's moving back. Oh, frick. Oh, gosh. Oh, dude, no freaky way. Oh, <laughs> dude, what is it doing inside? <laughs> this is a house. It shouldn't be in here. Where'd it go? Drew, it left. Not sleeping up here? Bye, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking your whole freaking bed? Yes, I'm not going to sleep on the hardwood floor, am I? I'm gonna put this down on the ground next to Andrew because I'd honestly rather wake up with a gator on my belly than a spider. Hey Andrew, I'm sleeping down here with you, is that okay? Now I can stand and do a thorough search of the bed. <laughs> if I see anything, I'm flying back to Colorado. What was that? Oh freak, there's something up here. What? This is where I'm posted up for the night. Good night. Good night. There's literally a panther at the fire pit. What? There's a panther out by the fire pit. No, for real. Alright, there. What is that thing? <laughs> what the heck is that? <coughs> well, Isaac, take this. What is that creature? <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, take it. Yeah, someone definitely needs to come get their dog, otherwise it's gonna get eaten for sure. First night in the hut was okay. I think it was a little colder than I anticipated. Hmm. Towards the morning, like I went to sleep kind of sweaty actually. So I fell asleep just like with that little sheet on it. That's because you were running around last night trying to catch gators. Mm -hmm. So me, Drew, and Isaac, all three of us just got our gator licenses. We're about to do this gator excursion. This is gonna be unlike anything you guys have ever seen before. Let's do this. By the way, Adventure Club merch on jsushop.com. If you're adventurous like us, you can get it. This is gonna be the craziest thing I've ever done if I pull this off. <laughs> the main thing is, look, you're not gonna overpower them. So everything you do, slow motion with them. Really? Yeah, seriously. In my head, I was gonna overpower them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Seven to eight foot gator is 175 pounds of muscle. Oh, and muscle. you ain't gonna hold him. What about a four foot gator? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> My original plan was I wanted to jump on it and close his mouth by myself. I was watching some Steve Irwin videos, thought I could do it. <laughs> now that I'm out here, thinking maybe it's not a wise idea. Hop out? Do we hop out? It's happening. You never know when it's about to happen. This isn't a waiting game like fishing, I guess. We stand on the bank for ages hoping one bites. You can go find them and throw the line, I guess. Yep, oh, no. Oh, there's one right here. It's right where I cast it. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so maybe I should get him. Probably could get him. He <coughs> looks like he's stuck. Oh, oh, there he is. Do we need that pole? Hold that pole tight. Yep. Don't give him any slack, Andrew. Don't snap the line either. <laughs> Hold him there. Just 
just hold him there. Now what? Pull, a, pull a little bit. Stay where you're at. Uh-huh. Just pull, pull it up. up a little bit. About lasso it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go. You get him? Oh. Oh. You now, son. Heck yeah. Oh, we got him. Oh. Okay, we're learning step by step. But now we know step two, so we can do it next time. Oh, we got another one. He's right there. He's right there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that one got it. Okay. <gasps> Oh. We gotta, we gotta come up with a plan. Dude, he was so close. What happened? Is that one user error as well, or is that just the line snapping? No, it rubbed against. You can't help that. Oh, it's right. okay. Dang it. It, ru it rubbed against that wall right there. You had to pull. When you feel it, you gotta really pull. Pull as hard as I can. Yeah, dude. Andrew's he was really you, getting a workout over there. You got it, Andrew. Like I said, if he gives you a little bit of slack, you have to reel down and pull up again. So hold on, just keep tension like you're doing. Got him. All right. Here you go. Come on, Andrew. We got him. Oh, we got him. We got a gator. Time. Reel down. Pull up. You too. Reel down. Pull up. Both of you in sync. Reel down. Pull up. Pull up. Reel down. Pull up. Watch each other. Reel Watch down, each other. Pull up. Oh, he's right oh, there. Here. He is. Yeah. Should we hold him here? That's a pretty. You got to reel down. And pretty sizable guy. <laughs> this thing's a beast. Jeez, man. This is like an insane bicep workout. Hey, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, keep tension. You keep tension. Okay. Oh. I got it now. Now hold the line. Hold the rope. Ready? Ready? Come on. Ready. Oh. Oh gosh! Oh, 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 oh. dude, he's a big one. Yeah, hold the line. Oh, he's I'm holding it. What's your plan? I don't know. What's your plan? <laughs> I thought you said you had a plan. <laughs> I'll yeah, get on the back of it at some point, but maybe nah. once his mouth closed. You ain't getting on the back of him. I promise you. No. Mm -hmm. Is that bad? He'll buck us off. Really? Yeah. Oh, dang. Dang. Yep. Dang. You want to touch it? <laughs> Go ahead and kneel down. There you go, you too. He's like, he, whoa, he's way softer than I thought, dude. Really? Yeah, it's like leather, not uh, like not super scaly. How much do you think that one weighs? 250 every bit of it. <laughs> I got him beat. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but that's, that's 250 of solid muscle. I got the same dinosaur. Yeah. yeah, I know. Oh, is that it hissing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, buddy, we didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> yeah, we did. All right, well, yeah, we did, <laughs> but. Oh, oh dude. See that? That's some force. We got him. That was so cool. Y'all did it. What should we name him? Justin. <laughs> <laughs> they do lead guided hunts so you can catch and kill the alligators, but we didn't want to actually kill one today, so we just got some of the meat. Thank you, Townsend and Sons Gator Farm, for our alligator meat. Wow, it's a lot of protein, actually. Dang. It is meat. Dang, low fat, too. Where do we get this in Colorado? We are back from the gator hunt. It's nighttime already, and Drew is outside working on... What? What the heck is that? Time <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that> Drew. <laughs> Say Isaac's waking the fire. I'm Drew. <laughs> Somebody's outside making the fire. That loser, Isaac. I'm Drew. We're making a fire so we can cook up some of the gator meat. Right, Drew? That's right, Andrew. <laughs> Let's go find Isaac, see what he's doing. The hut was cool for one night, but I'm really not looking forward to another sleep in this thing. Here you go, Isaac. Thanks, Drew. <laughs> you look like a little boy. <laughs> exactly, I look, like. I look like Drew. <laughs> I know you guys have probably already noticed this, but I'm not feeling too well. I'm getting more and more sick as this challenge goes. All we have to do is survive through the night. I'm trying to make it. <clears throat> what is this tonight? have to finish the challenge. I think the fire is going enough where we can actually fry up the gator meat now. Oh, oh golly. Oh, the bear is going to be here tonight. He's going to love bear. that. Remember that panther in the morning? He's going to love this. Oh, that little baby panther. Since it's such a thick piece of meat, we're going to kind of slowly cook it. So we're going to do little batches at a time so we can basically have an all night feast, which will be pretty sweet. So we can keep cutting bits of gator off, throwing it on there dipping it in ranch from the ranch tree. It's gonna be real good. I guarantee it's gonna burn before it cooks.
cooks. Isn't burning just the top tier level form of cooked? Yeah, like, it, yeah, you, well, you know what I mean. What was that? What was that? What was that? Sounds like that coming from the woods and the water do make us a little nervous. Jeez, why are you sitting <laughs> yeah. right in the smoke? We literally have a gator sneaking up on us. See out there? I don't know if you to see on camera, but their eyes glow in the dark. And so you can see them right in the water. For some reason, this tonight is way more spooky than the first night, but Andrew heard sounds from this direction. If we hear him from the water, not as scary because it's probably a gator. This direction, we're talking panthers, bears, skunk ape. I definitely let it overcook a little bit. I mean, you can see like it's pretty charred in the middle on this side, pretty charred on the middle on this side. I, I want to try it, but I really don't want to get sick. So we're going to yeah. open this bad boy up. <coughs> Ow! I said close your mouth. <coughs> okay, that looks done. You think it does? <coughs> Holy heck. Whoa. Whoa. That's tough, huh? <coughs> Dang, that's oh, tough. Tastes like overdone chicken. <coughs> oh, so chewy. <coughs> I mean, you cooked it to smithereens. <laughs> three, three whole pieces you just had. <coughs> we definitely should have taken the guy's advice. Please don't throw up on me. <laughs> you told me to close my mouth while I hiccup, but that's what happens. I <coughs> throw up? <laughs> I try, it's so explosive. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can say it's probably way better done by a professional. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Hold me. Just hold me. For what reason? I'm going upside down. What? Push against my back. This is so awkward. <laughs> okay, let me come down one more. I'm letting go now. You have my whole weight. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, gotta drink it upside down. What? Uh, get rid of hiccups. <laughs> 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 let me, hold me, hold me down. I am holding let me drink. I have to give me upside down. This is not <laughs> upside down. Let <laughs> me <laughs> go up or down. <laughs> no, oh, no, don't fool. <laughs> don't <laughs> fool. You're gonna break. No. I'm gonna die. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh. Everything's slipping. Everything's slipping. Oh. 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 Oh.
That is super late. No, it's not. It's not even in the middle of the night. Okay, it's not super late, but it's late, and I don't feel well, so I'm going to bed. Is that valid for you? I'm going to lay in my bed until I fall asleep. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you know, the rest of us. Is that like a special technique you've come up with? Yeah, I invented that technique. Instead of going to bed, I just lay in bed until I fall asleep. Okay. Are you gonna sleep down here again? You don't want to sleep oh, up with me? I actually slept. I slept pretty good in here last night. Not a single bug encounter. It was pretty warm throughout the night. Towards the morning, it started getting cold. I get a nice view of the bug men. <laughs> I'm just laying here. I haven't fallen asleep yet, though. Okay. <laughs> I think we'll work on some uh, some songs. You guys, make sure you check out the J Stew Music channel and check us out on Spotify at J Stew. I guess we'll see you guys in the morning, right, guys? It's actually super early in the morning because we have to go catch our flight. But we've done it. The challenge is over. Leave a like if you want to see us go python hunting. Hit subscribe. <laughs> And we'll say goodbye to the hut. Bye, hut.